Now that our source and destination profiles are populated, it's time to link the fields. We can do this manually, or we can take advantage of a technology built into Atomsphere called Boomi Suggest. Boomi Suggest is the industry's first community-driven suggestion wizard for integration. It leverages tens of thousands of data maps provided by Atomsphere users to provide you with a confidence level data mapping suggestions. Up to 93% of the data mapping can be auto-generated. Boomi Suggest is very popular with our users because it alleviates the painful and time-consuming aspect of application integrations. In addition, it allows organizations the ability to benchmark their maps against the community. This is an example of how we harness the community's collective intelligence to bring new innovation to our users. Now that you learned about Boomi Suggest, I'm going to show you how to connect the source and destination fields, both manually and by using Boomi Suggest. This is exercise number 13. It's in your book. It's called Map Fields, and it's on pages 45 to 46. With our source and destination profiles now populated, we're going to now map our fields. We're going to begin by mapping our fields manually, and then we're going to talk about Boomi Suggest and how to use it. So let's begin by mapping manually. We're going to come over and map the name field. So we're going to place our cursor on top of the name field, and you can see that it changes. It goes from being an arrow to a plus symbol with arrows on each end, and the word is displayed below, which is company name. All right, I'm going to click on my mouse. I'm going to come over to where the blue is a little bit, and I'm going to click. And notice that I am able to move it, and you can see the company name field. We're going to do is we're going to drag it all the way to the other side to where our profile is to the account name field and notice the account name field turned green as soon as that turns green i can leave it go and i have mapped that field let's do another one the company id i'm going to come over i'm going to highlight that click on the down arrow and just keep it clicked and i'm going to move that over drop and drag it to the account id so everything that I map, I need to be able to unmap because there are times we may need to do that. So the way we unmap a field is we come over to the destination. And we're just going to click on it and just kind of move it off a little bit. You don't have to go very far, but once it stops being green and you've moved it off, you can unclick and notice that that line is gone. The same thing up here with our account ID. I'm just going to unclick that. Now we do have the ability to map large mappings. You can map as a group by using the Boomi Suggest. And if you want to learn about Boomi Suggest, there's a hyperlink called What is Boomi Suggest, which will take you to a YouTube video and explain it. But the best way to learn about Boomi Suggest is to use it. So I'm going to come over here where it says Boomi Suggest, and I'm going to click on it. Boomi Suggest is going out and it's analyzing my data. And it comes back and it says our wizard has made 10 suggestions that are high confidence level. You can have a high, medium, and low confidence level mappings. So let's take a look at what it's mapped. Clicking on the next button, I see all of the fields that it has ideas that it can map. So it could take the company name field and it would map that over to the account name. The industry would go to the industry, the address, the addresses, the city and state. The state itself, you can also uppercase it on the fly if you would like to by adding a function. It's entirely up to you. This would uppercase it as well as send it over. We also have our postal code, country, phone, and website. I'm happy with all these, so I'm going to click on the next button. It shows me all the mappings once again, and you can compare this to what you have listed in your book on page 45. It lists all the fields that are mapped from and to. I'm pleased with it, so I'm going to click on the finish button. And now my fields are mapped. Now every field has been mapped except for one field, and that is our status field. We're going to populate it with a default value of 1. The way we do it is we click on the blue arrow button, the drop down. We have one item that we can select, which is set default value. 
We're going to set the default value on in there. We're going to click on the Save and Close button. We're going to click OK again, and now our map is configured. This concludes our video, but please complete Exercise 13, Map Fields, before moving to our next video, which will be discussing map functions.